Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal to work on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you want to start from the first video. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the arcade and we're going to do Python exercises here. And then we have already done the first five. <clears throat> So if you want to check out those videos, go ahead and use that link. Um, I'm going to go to the sixth one. So you have to implement the missing code. So there's missing code right here. Uh, it frustrates you more than you'd like to admit that the modulus operator in Python can be applied to non-integer values. When you write code, you expect the result of the modulus operator to always be an integer. But thanks to Python, this isn't always the case. To fix this, you've decided to write your own modulus operator as a function. Your task is to implement a function that, given a number uh, n, returns negative 1 if, it, if this number is not an integer, and n modulus 2 otherwise. It is guaranteed that if the number represented as an integer, it'll be written without a decimal point. Okay. So for 15, it'll be 1. Uh, so for 23.12, that's a float value, so it's going to return negative 1. That's how they want this function to work. Uh, so let's open a Python console. First of all, I'm going to show you what a modulus operator here is. Uh, that's what the, this percent sign is. So let's say 5 modulus 3. What the modulus operator basically does is it takes the remainder after doing the division. So this is going to be 2. So when you take 5 divided by 3, uh, you get uh, 3 evenly, and then there's 2 left over. So if you do 3, if you do, let's say, 9 modulus 3, this is going to equal 0 because 9 goes into 3 evenly. And what they're talking about here is if you have a float value like, uh, let's say, 20.4, and you do modulus uh, 4, you're going to get uh, this decimal value back because... Uh, after five goes into twenty five, one, five goes into twenty four five times. Ugh, sorry, um, you still have that point four left over. So that's the remainder that you get from running the modulus. So they want this function to return negative one if uh, what it returns is not an integer value for the modulus. All right. So basically. If it is a float value, we're going to return negative 1. And if it is an integer value, they want it to return n uh, percent 2. So a function that you can use to check if something is uh, a certain type, like int or float, is this is instance. So you put in the value, and then you put in what you're looking for in this case, int. So if this uh, n variable is an int, then it's going to return n modulus 2. And if it's not, it's going to return negative 1. So we can just run the test on that. And we can see that is correct. So some of the test values, 15 is an integer value, so it returns 1. So it says in the instance, uh, n is an integer, so it returns that. In this, it's going to return false for is instance n an integer, so it returns negative 1. Um, 0, it returns 0, because 0 is an integer, and 0 modulus 2 is just 0. Let's see, here's another float, so it returns negative 1, and so on. So I hope you guys were able to follow along with this one, and I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.